Hi. What I want to show you today is a little safety feature for these power supplies. If you put two of them in series, then it is possible that only one shuts down if it's overloaded and the other one does not, which means that uh, the output of 24 volt will not go to 0 volt but to 12 volt. And this uh, rapid decrease of 12 volts can trigger all kinds of faults on chargers and it can even destroy them. So what we want is a kind of circuit or a kind of safety measure that um, if one power supply of two in series, if any one of them shuts down, then the other one shuts down as well. So that we do not get an erroneous state of 12 volt, but it will be either 24 volt or 0 volt. So what we have to do is one power supply controlling the other and vice versa. And uh, the problem is that the two power supplies have a different potential of around 12 volt logically, so we can't have a direct connection. So what we have here is a little optocoupler and an optocoupler basically has two input and two output contacts. The input contacts are tied to a little uh, infrared diode and the output contacts are tied to a kind of photoresistor or photodiode, some uh, phototransistor or photodiode, something like this. So if you have a little input current in here, like 5 milliamps, then the infrared light from the diode will make the output contacts conductive so that a little current can flow through them. So what we basically will do is to have the output of the power supply tied to the input of this optocoupler. So if there are 12 volt here, the whole thing will work and the output of the optocoupler will become conductive. And this means we have this little resistor on the input which needs to be connected in a specific way so that um, when the whole thing becomes conductive the power supply will be switched on via making this input connections. And of course now this power supply is connected to itself but normally this plug would be connected to the other power supply and this plug from the other power supply would be connected to this power supply. But the video frame is not wide enough so I can't show you right now. So the problem is if you switch the power supplies on then they will not have 12 volt unless this one is uh, the optocoupler is switched on but it can't be switched on as no power supply will have 12 volt. So what I did is I connected it to this Arduino and at the beginning it will provide 5 volt to switch on the optocoupler. This will switch on the 12 volt and afterwards the uh, Arduino will switch off uh, the 5 volt but the 12 volt will be switched on and it will keep everything switched on here. And if the 12 volt by some fault or something are switched off then the other supply will also be switched off. Or if the 12 volt of the other power supply will be switched off then this power supply will be switched off. So I will show you this right now. So what I will do now is I will switch on the power supply and then you will notice a steady LED here and this means that everything is operational. It is tied to my lamp, the on switch here. Okay, right here you can see the LED constantly on which means that everything is just alright. And now I will pull this plug here and then the LED will slowly blink in order to show that uh, there's an error, namely that the output voltage isn't there anymore.
okay so now you see this LED is blinking slowly and now I will put this plug back on and of course the LED will still blink as the 12 volt is still off and this is because when there's no voltage here the uh, optocoupler cannot be switched on and if the optocoupler is off then the main connection here to switch on the power supply will also not be on so it will latch itself in an off state unless the whole affair is again power cycled and switched on in order to make the Arduino provide a short 5 second pulse of voltage to switch everything on and latch it in an on state. I will do this. It has a little power left. Okay, now it's off. The capacitors are rather huge here. Okay, and as you can see, the LED is steady. Everything is on again. So everything was. Uh, connected in series right now, so this would go to the other power supply, from the other power supply the plug would be here, then any power supply shutting down would take the other one with it, so that immediately if only one power supply has a fault, everything is switched off and there is not some uh, voltage potential which can damage the charger. Thanks for watching.